it's time to get a quick first look and drive on a private test track of a new car. It's the fifth gear team test. This week, the team tested the Peugeot 408. It's a brand new model and Peugeot have certainly tried to make it stand out from the crowd. The 408's design blurs the lines between a traditional coupe, an estate and an SUV. But is it a jack of all trades or a master of none? I think this is spectacular looking. The paintwork is crazy. Some of it's green, some of it's blue. Yeah. It is different, isn't it? There's a lot going on. Is it a fastback, a hatchback, an SUV, a four-door coupe? I really like it, and I'm so grateful to the Peugeot designers for making cars that stand out. Every time one passes me, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's a Peugeot, because it's different. I think it looks like a Mustang Mach-E has had an affair with a Range Rover Evoque, and this was the result. It's funny, you see, I, see, I do see a yeah. bit of Mustang yeah. in it. But has the spelt body shape ruined the practicality of having decent luggage space? Boot space is kind of OK, what, just over 500 litres, which is, what, acceptable? And yeah. The seats fold down quite flat, by all accounts. That's cool. So should bad. we put that literage into usable language? And how, many, how many cases do you normally bring? Yeah, if the three holiday? of us were going away, I'd take, I'd take a soft and a carry-on. As it happens. Oh, just soft. <laughs> That's yours, Vicky. No, well, I, I won't be doing any manual yeah, labour. Yeah, no, OK. <laughs> oh, that... No, no. What do you mean, That's no? not going to work. Well, well there's only one way to find oh, out. Geez. I reckon it will. I don't like that load lip. That gets in the way. That's never going to work. No, what? That'll be fine. It's definitely not going to. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, that's That'll sweet. Work. Do you know what, boys? I will never, ever let you pack my car. No, it's Sorry, not going to work. It knows it's already. Not... It knows. Do you know why it knows? Because in this door is a woman, <laughs> right? <laughs> and who knows? That's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Bit of tape. Off we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, this is quite annoying because it's got this this thing here. I'm used to parcel shells that have a little bit of string where they dangle freely and you can kind of lift it out of the way and they move in harmony with your luggage inside. This is taking up space and there's nowhere to put it. What are you going to do? You, oh, I'm off on holiday. <laughs> See you later. What he didn't realise is you can lift up the little boot flap at the where, where, where the spare weight wheel is and just slide it underneath there. That boot lid makes me unhappy, but this cabin... Cheered me right up. Brilliant. I tell you what, it feels really so nice. high quality, doesn't it? Yeah. Nice bits of Alcantara. You know, all this little ambient stitching, lights. details, ambient lights, yeah. The seats are really good. I love them. I can't tell you how much, though, I do not like this steering wheel. I hate it. Because you've got to look over the top to see the dash, haven't you? You've got to. If you like sitting low down, you can't see that display. Yeah. So you've but got in to. In no other car I've ever come across do you go over the over steering the top, wheel yeah. to look down towards your dash it's and go. It's a very strange design. Because look at that. Even if you can see over the top, you then turn the wheel and then you can't see over the top because it's not a circle. It's just. I see what you mean, yeah, because it's got that cutout. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. How do we feel about these um, controls here? So these don't actually control the climate. You press the fan button and then it, it brings it, it on, on the, the screen. screen. We can speak to the computer, so should we ask if it can do something? So that might save you pressing a button. Has it got a name? I think it's called Sally. Sally, could you turn on the heated seats, please? I'm sorry, but I am unable to physically interact with the car's features. That's really you handy. Need to manually turn on the seats. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever heard somebody come back and say, do it yourself. Do it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> That's really good, isn't it? It's like, no, no. Oh, I love that. All right, should we go for a drive? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, before, yeah. before we go, um, guess the engine size. What, what, would you, what engine would you put in a car this big? 1.6, so, 1.6, yes, yeah, so something like that. A 2-litre V6. That's what I would oh, like yeah. in here. 2-litre yeah. V6, exotic. Yeah, thank you. OK, this, it's a three-cylinder... 1.2. So, see you later. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> out. 1.2, three cylinder. Time to hit the track. How are you getting on in the driving position then, Rory? <laughs> you look really comfy. Do I look comfy? It feels like I'm driving a child's toy car. You know the little ride ons? Yeah. yeah. Where you're holding a tiny steering wheel and your legs are up by your knees. That's what it feels like. To be honest, that's what it looks like. It's, it, I'm not happy. And also, I can't see how fast I'm going. Genuinely. Yeah. It's Honestly. a 1.2, mate. You won't be doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to your hats. I'm going to accelerate. That's flawed. That's flawed. That's flawed. It took a while, didn't it? But well, now we're moving. It's still flawed. 
you know what? It's better than I thought it was going to be. That was, really, that was yeah, downhill. Yeah, that was downhill. <laughs> Despite its sporty styling, the 408 seems to have a powertrain that's more about frugality than fun. It's not built for performance, is it? No. It's just not enough. You know, it needs a two-litre engine in that car. See, the problem with having such a small engine with no power is it'll always be up and down the gearbox. And you have to work it harder, which gonna, is going to consume yeah. more fuel. Well, if you look at the combined fuel figures, it's 40 mpg. I would have expected much more than 40 out of this. Would you not? Yeah. I would. I would tell you what I'm actually getting, but I can't see over the steering wheel. <laughs> don't worry about it. Peugeot have decided you don't need to, don't see, need to see it. Don't need to see it. Peugeot have jumped on the artificial intelligence bandwagon and gifted the 408 AI superpowers. Ask it a complex question. All right, here we go. Why does this car have such a stupid steering wheel? I'm sorry if you find the steering wheel design unsatisfactory. We do. The steering wheel design of Persia cars is carefully crafted to provide a comfortable and ergonomic driving experience. Liar. Rubbish. Liar. To ensure easy maneuverability and precise control of the vehicle. If you have any specific concerns or suggestions regarding the steering wheel, I do. You can forward them to the appropriate team at Persia for consideration. <laughs> yes. Do, do it. Do it now. Do it now. Tell them to change the wheel to one that's actually a wheel and make it bigger and that you can actually see the display through. So, steering wheel aside, have Peugeot created the perfect blend of SUV, coupe, and estate with the 408? Is the 408 a jack of all trades or is it a master of none? I like the way it looks, but I worry that there aren't enough people out there who are going to be fans of this kind of really convoluted design. I love the outside. I love the interior. But the engine's rubbish. And I'm going to give it a mediocre six. A six. A pretty decent 7.5. That means the Peugeot 408 has a team test score of 19.5 out of 30. As far as we're concerned, it doesn't quite cut it as a jack-of-all-trades.